Hi, welcome to the Reinforcement Learning Seminar Series. Spending some time on these videos will help you long way understanding the intuition behind mathematical details of this wonderful algorithm. In order to extract generalizable, robust features, rules, and patterns, machine learning techniques require tons of example data. That's why they are called supervised learning methods. Despite great achievements, supervised learning methods cannot achieve simple tasks that humans can do effortlessly, like walking on the street, flying a kite, or playing chess. And this is because the features of such problems are sparsely distributed over space and time. That is why there is not just enough data for a machine to learn from. But there is an amazing class of machine learning algorithms that enables machines to learn to do really sophisticated stuff with superhuman performance. Like beating world champions in board games. Using robots to explore the wilderness. Playing Atari games and scoring extremely high, better than professionals. And even trading in stock market. And it is called reinforcement learning. We are going to deal with two main characters in this type of learning. The agent, which is the machine or robot that is responsible for finding the solution of a problem. And the environment that represents the system that embodies the problem. Basic notion in reinforcement learning is that machine can learn from experience. The experience of interacting with the environment through trial and error. Let's try to conceptualize how an environment looks like using this example. It's modeled as a finite set of states or steps. Following these steps leads to a destination or goal. One example problem can be to find the shortest path to reach to the destination from any given state. Since there is no data available, the agent will learn the correct path through trial and error. For example, if the agent is in state S, let's call the state as current state. The agent will select an action to move from the state. The environment will respond by giving a reward for that action. The selected action A will move the agent to a new state. Let's call this new state as future state FS. If the future state is closer to destination, the agent will remember that action A brought him to this state, so it will increase the quality of action A. Otherwise, it will decrease the quality of action A so that it's not repeated in future. So that's all there is in reinforcement learning. Let's review the basic concepts in little more detail through this example. Agent starts by randomly selecting a state S at time 1. In selected state, it can take several actions. Consider each action color-coded by its quality, red being the highest and light gray being the least quality. Agent will either select the best action based on its quality. This is referred to as exploitation because agent is exploiting its experience of doing this action in state S. Or agent will randomly select one of the available actions. This is called exploration. The action will be received by the environment and the environment will return a reward for the selected action and the future state. Agent receives reward, moves its state by making future state as it, its current state, and update the quality of selected action that moved the agent from S to FS. This update is based on reward and quality of actions possible in the future state. We are going to learn how this simple iterative protocol of operations bring solution to very complicated problems in the coming videos. To further solidify your understanding of reinforcement learning, please continue watching next videos in this series.
Over there, I will introduce you to an interactive tutorial to experiment with reinforcement learning algorithms. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.